we are going to learn today how to find equivalent resistance of circuit that is that means if there is multiple resistors in circuit which are in series or in parallel then how to find equivalent resistance of such combination here we can see when two resistances are in series then we can find their equivalent by simply adding addition of individual resistances here we can see r1 r2 up to rn can be equivalent resistance can be found by r1 plus r2 plus r3 similarly when three uh, number of resistances are in parallel then to find their equivalent what we have to do we just have to take their reciprocal and add them that is sum of reciprocal here we can directly take sum of individual resistance in parallel combination we can take sum of their reciprocals let's see first example here we can see now what we have to do here we have to find equivalent resistance of this circuit this circuit which is supplied with 12 volt battery and two resistance resistances are connected in parallel now to find resistances in parallel what we have to do we just have to see whether current gets divided between two branches here we can see current travels from point a to point b and this total current gets divided between these two branches that is i1 and i2 that's why we can say these two branches are in parallel now 1 by rt that is what we have to do in parallel what we take simply reciprocal addition of their reciprocal that is 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 1 by 22 plus 1 by 47 kilo ohm we can directly take cross multiplication or by taking lcm also we can find it so answer is 15 kilo ohm similarly here also uh, three resistances are in parallel current gets divided among these three branches that is i1 i2 and i3 this total current it coming from point a gets divided among r1 branch r2 branch and r3 branch so that's why 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 is equal to 1 by rt that is total resistance now here we can we cannot make cross multiplication what you have to do we have to take lcm or simply we can uh, do it on cal calculator so rt is equal to 85.67 let us take one more example now in this example this circuit is supplied with 60 volt of battery and when current travels from this positive terminal of battery to negative terminal it gets divided at this point at this point it gets divided among these two branches here we can see these two branches again current flowing through this, this branch again gets divided among these two branches that is 12 ohm resistance branch and 6 ohm resistance branch that's why what we have to do first first we have to take equivalent resistance of this branch that is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 which is nothing but 4 ohm and current which is traveling through this branch this 7 ohm resistor also travels through this 5 ohm resistor that's why these two resistances are in series so we can simply take addition of these two resistors that is 7 plus 5 is 12 ohm now resistance of this branch is 4 ohm we have calculated earlier and resistance of this branch is 12 ohm that's why these two resistances again comes in parallel here we can see 4 ohm and 12 ohm again to find equivalent of these two branches equivalent resistance of the two branches what we have to do 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 which is 3 ohm you can directly take cross multiplication or do it on calcium now this 3 ohm resistance can be connected in series with this 7 ohm resistance like this and now to find equivalent resistance we have, to, we have to do again we have to start to travel from positive terminal of battery to negative and here we can see this current which is flowing through this 7 ohm resistor also flows through 3 ohm resistance and these two resistances said to be in series that's why these two resistances equivalent resistance can be found by taking addition of these two resistance which is 10 ohm so equivalent resistance of circuit is 10 ohm 
let us see one more example now here this type of circuit is called as resistance ladder diagram now in this circuit this dc source dc source is connected and what we have to do we just have to find equivalent resistance of all these resistances now to reduce circuit what we have to do we just have to reduce circuit from the opposite end that is end at which battery is connected and opposite end of battery that is from this end what we have to do we have to reduce circuit again here we can see here not any resistance is connected between these these, these branch so i can simply pick up this point and put it over this this point so here we can see i have pick up this point and put it over this point that's why these two resistances are now in parallel that is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is nothing but 1 by 2 that is total resistance of these two branches is 2 ohm i have connected here like this again what we have to do we have to start to travel from positive terminal of battery to negative terminal so here we can see at this point what happens this current which is flowing like this again gets divided between these two branches that is this 4 ohm resistance and this 4 ohm resistance so that, so that 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is these two uh, resistances are in parallel that's why 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is 1 by 2 now this 2 ohm resistance we can connect at this branch or at this branch so i have connected like this that is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is 1 by 2 means 2 ohm resistance i have connected here at this point so from this circuit again i can see current which is travels like this current travels from positive terminal of battery to negative that is which is travels like this so this 4 ohm resistor this 4 ohm resistor and this 2 ohm resistor are in series that is current same current flows through these tier 3 resistances to find whether uh, resistances are in series or parallel what we have to do we just have to simply see if current gets divided between branches or same current flows through resistor if same current flows through 3 resistor then we can say 3 resistances are in series here this 4 ohm resistor this 4 ohm resistor these 2 ohm resistors are in series that's why we can simply take addition of these 3 resistances which is nothing but 10 ohm so this 10 ohm resistance is connected like this here here we can see there is no any resistance between these two branches these two branches that's why i can simply say these two resistances are in parallel that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 which is 4 by 3 ohm 4 by 3 ohm i have connected here and series resistance that is 10 ohm i have connected here. again this 4 ohm resistance and 10 ohm resistance are in parallel if their resistance are present at this branch or at this branch we cannot uh, say this is cannot find this by taking just addition of their reciprocal but here is no resistance is connected between this branch and this branch that's why these two resistances are in parallel i can say calculate by using 1 by 4 plus 1 by 10 which is 20 by 7 ohm and this 4 by 3 ohm again now if i start to travel from this positive terminal of battery to negative here we can see same current flows through these three resistances that's why these three resistances are in series by taking their addition on kelsey you can see the equivalent resistance of circuit is 8.9 ohm let's see one more example here now in this example what we have to do we have to find equivalent resistance between terminal a and terminal b now to find equivalent resistance between terminal a and b what we have to do we have to start to travel from a to b or b to a when i travel from a to b 
So here we can see these two branches, this branch, this branch, and this branch. These three branches are in parallel. As the total current which is flowing from this branch gets divided among this branch, this branch, and this branch. That's why these three resistances are in parallel. Again, the current which is flowing through this 2.5 ohm resistor flows through this 3.5 ohm resistor. That's why these two resistances are in series. So I can simply take their addition, which is 6 ohm and connected connect at at parallel of 2 12 ohm resistor, which is and we connect like this. Now parallel combination of these three resistances, which is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12, can be found. Here we can see, here we can see, these three resistances also are in series. Same current flows through three resistance, that's why I have taken an equivalent which is 16 ohm. These two resistances, that is, these two resistances are in series, that's why I have taken equivalent which is 16 ohm. Now, these two branches are in parallel, <coughs> these two branches are in parallel, that as current gets divided between this branch and this branch that's why 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 which is 1 by 8 that is 8 ohm i have connected here and equivalent of these three branches which is nothing but 3 ohm 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 which is 3 ohm here we can see again we can see these two resistances are in series and the comp series combination of these two resistances are in parallel with this resistance which is can be found by 11.2 ohm or 5.5 ohm that is resistance between terminal A and terminal B is 5.5 ohm let's see one more example now in this example what we have to do we have to find equivalent resistance between branch point A and point B so when we have to find equivalent resistance at this terminal what we have to do, we have to reduce circuit from opposite end. Opposite end, if we travel from point A, here we can see this current gets divided up between this branch and this branch. So that's why this branch, this entire branch is in parallel with this branch. So I have taken combination of 10 plus 2, that is 12 ohm in parallel with 6 ohm. This is nothing but 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12, which is 4 ohm. I have connected this 4 ohm over here. Here we can see this parallel combination of 12 ohm and 6 ohm, which is 4 ohm, connected like this, which is in series with 8 ohm again. That is 8 ohm plus 4 ohm. That is 12 ohm is again. I can connect this like this. This combination connect like this, which is 12 ohm. When this 6 ohm and 12 ohm are in parallel, which is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 again 4 ohm can be connected like this if we connect this 4 ohm it comes in series with this 4 ohm resistance so by taking their addition that is 4 ohm plus 4 ohm which is 8 ohm this 8 ohm comes in parallel with this 8 ohm here we can see that is 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 which is 1 by 4 that is 1 by 4 that is 4 ohm comes in series with this 4 ohm resistor and if we see the current at this point again gets divided among this branch and sorry current gets divided between this branch and this branch so same current flows through this two 4 ohm resistors and this combination of this series combination comes in parallel with this 8 ohm resistor so 4 plus 4 8 and this 8 these two branches are in parallel 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 again 1 by 4 which comes in series with this 6 ohm resistor and the equivalent resistance is now 10 ohm this way we can find equivalent resistance between two terminal or equivalent resistance of circuit